Good morning, EBC Kids. Thank you so much for joining us today. For the next eight weeks, we will learn how to rely on God's power to defeat any evil. God's power in us equips us with everything we need to be heroes every day. We will see and learn that when Jesus is the leader and hero of our lives, we will be victorious. So welcome to our new series called Heroes and Villains. Let's check out this Bible story together about Elijah. In the Old Testament book of 1 Kings, there's an amazing Bible hero named Elijah. Elijah was a prophet, a man who delivered messages from God to the people. God has given me a message for you. Worship Him only. Elijah lived in Samaria where there had not been any rain for three years. Three years without rain meant that there was very little water or food for the people to eat and drink. We need water. When will it rain? King Ahab was a wicked king who had led the people far away from God. They began to worship a false god named Baal. The time had come for God to use his power through Elijah to prove to the people that he was the one true God, the only one who makes rain fall from the sky. Elijah challenged King Ahab and the priest of Baal to build an altar and get a bull to lie on the wood. I will build an altar too and place a bull on the wood. They were each going to pray to the God they worshipped. Whichever God answered by starting a fire on the altar would be the one true God. The Baal worshippers began shouting, praying, and dancing around their altar. Oh, Baal, light the fire! But no fire was lit. Elijah began teasing the Baal worshippers, saying, Maybe your God is asleep, or he's gone on a trip. No matter how loudly the Baal worshippers shouted, Baal did not send fire. Elijah wanted to show the people how powerful God is, so he said, Bring buckets of water to pour on the altar. Elijah knew that God could light the altar on fire even when it was covered in water. Elijah prayed, O oh Lord, show these people that you are the one true God. Please answer now with your fire. Elijah prayed this prayer so the people would know his God was the one true God. Right then, Elijah's altar burst into flames. The fire burned even though the wood and stones were soaking wet. All the people who saw this bowed down and cried, The Lord, He is the one true God. All the people saw God's power and knew that he was the one true God. A few minutes later, the sky filled with clouds, and God sent rain to Samaria. The story of Elijah helps us see that we are all heroes when we rely on God's power to work through us. This week, our main point is, God's power in me makes me a hero. Can you read that with me? God's power in me makes me a hero. He's 
This series Bible memory verse is taken from the book of 1 John, which is in the New Testament, chapter 4, verse 4. I'm going to read it for you today, and then we will work on memorizing it together in the weeks to come. Our Bible memory verse says, God's Spirit is in you and is more powerful than the one that is in the world. I sure hope you'll come back next week to learn about another Bible story and how God's power can work in and through us. Have a wonderful week. Bye for now.